back again for some more cave story. It's looking luscious. Latino, still a bit sick, so excuse me. <coughs> ah, jeez. Ah, in the last part, we got to Sand Zone and figured out that the doctor had found the red flowers, you know, the ones that make the meme just go crazy. But he still has not accessed them, because apparently this lady right here has a warehouse key to the flowers. And I guess we're going to try and convince her after we find her puppies that we need that key before they do, or else the world's fucked. Ah, shit. Sand Zone, Warehouse East. Okay. If you say so, I guess I'm going west. You want me again? This bird. I fucking hate birds, and they put them in the game. Fucking hate birds. That's why the game starts getting annoying. Like that. Jesus, really? Come on. Yeah, Polestar starts really proving to be really weak if you can't keep it at level 3. Dang it! Luckily, it's one of the easier weapons to level up. Let's go find our puppies. Shit! Asshole throwing bones at me. Got a bone to pick with you, son. Missiles! Missiles! Alright. Giant triangle. Get back here, puppy! I need you! I can really use that health. Ooh, puppy! No, get back here! Puppy! I need you, puppy! Just the hard way or the easy way, puppy. Gotcha! Alright, let's go over turn you to Jenga. So that's one more down, as soon as we get over to the house. Yep, this episode's gonna be a giant puppy hut. Hunt. Puppy hut. Okay. Continuing on to the house of Jenka. You're fast! It's certainly one of my loved puppies. By the way, you must be the social from the surface. It's been a long time since all those robots just like you came to this island. They were responsible for the deaths of so many defenseless Mimiga, and for the lives of all the brave men and women who tried defending them. Due to the effects of consuming the forbidden red flower, the concerned Mimigas became utterly rabid. They fought back viciously against the robots that had invaded their island. Who knows, had, who knows, had there been no red flower, it's very impossible that the Mimiga on this island might have been annihilated. Three more left. I know you can do it. <clears throat> so I'm a vicious rabbit killer like the other robot was saying. Curly brace was saying. Just a giant rabbit murder. Mwah. <laughs> Mwah. Well, I won't know until I get my memory back. If I get my memory back. Doubt it. Considering the other one doesn't even have their memory. The other chick doesn't even have her memory. Knowing as birds? Don't know why I hate birds so much, I just do. Fuck, like they're so fucking annoying. Reminds me of this time my mom like was helping out a bird. There was this bird whose uh, neck was stuck, or head was stuck in a chain link, or not chain link fence, so like a wooden fence. His head was kind of like stuck in between the two of the boards. So my mom tries to pull him out by sliding him out of the... Gosh dang it, stupid bird. Sick of your shit. Low and hell, oh good! Jesus, Jesus, I'm about to die! No! Ah, oh, you son of a fucking bitch! This is why I hate birds! Now let's go get that other puppy back. Son of a fucking tit wanking bitch. Now I know why I hate birds, because they're so fucking annoying. Piss. They just. the giant piss off. Birds. Fuck you! No one likes you! No one! I hate birds. Oh yeah, continuing back to the story I was saying. I had to also get that other puppy back from the other place.
Okay. So as I was saying. Ah, damn it. I'm just gonna sneak around here. So, she's trying to pull. <laughs> Stupid croc. Nipping on my ass. She tries to pull him out, like, do the. Kind of like how to explain this, but uh, through the top. Yes, we're bringing you along, Mr. Puppy. I'm not going down that way because I'll get chomped by the croc again. Tries to pull him out up so his neck won't be like broken as you try to pull him out by just, like squeezing his head through the in between the fence post. And so once we finally get him out, the bird pokes at my mom, shits himself, and runs away. Flaps away. Yeah. It literally just like fucking. It pegged my mom, shit itself, and then flew away. It's fucking. That's what it seriously did. It's like stay there. It stayed there calm for like a couple seconds, and all of a sudden it just poked my mom. It just fucking. Fucking flew away like an asshole bird. It's like. Bam! Saved its life from its neck being like fucking. Logs in that fence forever. Nope, just fucking bites, <laughs> bites and shits itself. Okay. Okay, so we've been through this dialogue already. So I gotta bring her another, that other puppy that was at the bottom again, cause that stupid bird fucking killed me. <sighs> Asshole birds. <clears throat> Continuing on. So you guys now know my hatred for birds. Oh, one thing I also forgot to show, I guess. Go inside here. Little emblem right there to show you that this place can be traveled into. And behold! Life capsule obtained. And it's a dog! Yup, there's a dog inside a chest. How it didn't suffocate is beyond my reason of understanding. Oh, I should have started with him once we were closer to here. Ah, oh, fucking! Fuck off! Sick of your shit. We got more health now, so we don't have to have struggles dealing with more of the fucking assholes, other shit. Ooh, definitely, that's one of mine. Thank you so much, this makes three. Have you ever seen an enraged Mimiga? Eating the red flower will make them be stronger. A great many of the Mimiga believe this and chose to eat the red flower, and then they only did then that they fight back against the battalions of robots. But, do you know what happens afterwards to a Mimiga filled with such rage? It was so terrible. Perhaps they couldn't even, perhaps they couldn't control themselves. While well, most of the Mimiga who consumed the red flower would never be able to, s never to be seen again. They went missing. I heard a rumor that they supposedly made it down to the surface where the humans live. The thought of the enraged Mimiga anywhere close to that surface with humans. If it's really, really true, do you realize it yet? Do you realize how <clears throat> dangerous the red flower actually is? Two more pups. What do you mean down by this to the surface? Do you mean up to the surface since we're underground? the cave? Eh. I don't know. Fuck logic. Maybe we're in China and everything's backwards. Like in the cartoons. Fuck it! Ugh! Sick of your shit! Just getting raged. Infuriatedly. Fuck off! Fuck all y'all shit! I'm mad at these pieces of shit. Skeleton dude again. The strongest weapon I have is the bubble gun, go figure. Come here, puppy. Going back to Janka. I actually almost got hit by the slow crawling ass turtle. Ah! Annoying 
has birds and shit. Bones and birds and shit. Just get me out of here before I go insane. Alright, puppy, let's go. Collect some health again. So where could the last puppy be? Hmm. I do not know. Where could the last puppy be? You're the popular ones. My dogs aren't very fun of troublemakers, troublemakers either. <clears throat> I do really appreciate your hard work so far. Is this the warehouse key you're after? The same warehouse key that contains all the red flowers and seeds in it? It doesn't matter to me who you are, understand? I cannot give you the key to the warehouse. Sorry. Opening the warehouse, that would be foolishly allowing an, an encore of the same strategy from before. One, two, three, and four. One more to go. Ah, oh, come on, Jenkin, we need that key. What if they get it first? Then it'll be even worse. Eh. Kind of right. Alright, so I know where the last puppy's at. We just gotta get our asses over there. Move the long way. Sure. Let's out of here, you stupid birds! Sick of birds and shit. Sick of birds and bones and all this bull crap ass bull in my way. I just want to get to my objective and finish getting these puppies. Avoid all these bones. He's throwing bones up. Man, fuck you! Throwing bones up here? What the hell you think you are? Grim Reaper? Ah, uh, not in my house, son. Dang it, trying to squeeze that hole right there. Guess I gotta do it the long way. So I cannot squeeze there. Back up, Jack. I ain't afraid of your bones. Alright, this is where I use missiles on these bastards. I ain't afraid of your shit! Piece of shit, birds! Ha! <laughs> yes, bird revenge. Fucking hate birds. Hate them. Hate them. Now I'm out of missiles. Be very careful right here, because there's instant death waiting around every corner. By instant death, I mean these fuckers. Decided to put spikes. <clears throat> Last puppy. Yes, bring him along. Last puppy head. Health and a save point. Yes. Let's go return this last puppy and call it good. Whoa, that was too close. This music's so catchy. Out of my way, suckers. No time for your shenanigans. Ain't got time to dodge. Jump. 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 Shoot. Shoot and jump. Jump and shoot. And jump and shoot, man. Alright, Jack, here's your last freaking pup. I have the warehouse key. Alright then, see ya. Wait! Did you just rape her? It's like the first thing I assume every time I see someone bent over. Oh, it's you. Gave her the dog. The key. The keys to the warehouse were stolen by Balrog. Please stop them. They'll unleash rabid meme you get possessed by the red flower against the service. Wait, please take this with you. Obtain the life pod. Use it and your life will be fully restored, but just once. Yup, we got basically a extra life thing. I'm gonna, end the, I'm gonna end the episode off here and call it good because we've just basically spent this entire episode looking for puppies. I think that that's enough for one episode. Continue on to the warehouse next episode. So until then, see you all later. <laughs>